Wow. <laughs> you, you know, not so long ago, uh, I used to work for a commercial open source content management software company, and those conferences had like hundreds of people. <laughs> and, and now look at this. It is so great to be back amongst this community again. The diversity, like we heard from the panel this morning, and the innovation is always so welcoming and inspiring. These days, I head up products and solutions marketing at Veritas. And for those of you who know a bit about us and, and what we do, you might be thinking, why is someone from the data management space here speaking at Kubicon? Well, as you know, data is the lifeblood not just of your apps, but really your organization these days. And uh, it's under attack in a way that it's never been before. And it's not just legacy infrastructure that the bad actors are going after. We're seeing more and more vulnerabilities that are being attacked by bad actors in cloud-native infrastructure. They may not always target the cloud-native apps themselves, but they're finding vulnerabilities and using those to land and then move laterally to infect your infrastructure and your data. Uh, and hence all the focus on shift left that we've been talking about already at the show. Or, or maybe better, as Emily Fox said, expand left. I like that a lot better. Um, and, and hence, all the CNCF projects that are focused on enhancing cloud-native security. And all the great vendors out there on the show floor with awesome solutions that you should try to prevent bad things from happening. And yet, they still do, as we see from the headlines. But I'm guessing uh, that these days, I don't really need to scare anyone in this room about things like ransomware, right? We, we're all living with it now. But there are also more mundane ways to lose your data. So here are five pro tips, if you will, on how to do just that um, while you're building applications, if you're not thinking about it. Anybody here ever have to deal with a persistent volume claim that didn't quite work out as you expected it to, particularly between regions, right? Or anybody over here ever have an issue where uh, somebody else's code commit clobbered a database, maybe, maybe in production even? My point is clearly ransomware isn't the only type of data disaster out there. And as 451 Research has found, 22% of the time, data loss is caused by software failure. Back in 2012, uh, Microsoft's Bill Baker came up with this famous and somewhat controversial uh, analogy focused on describing the life cycle of legacy applications versus modern containerized apps. Developers traditionally take care of their legacy apps and sickness and in health like pets versus thinking, them, thinking of them as more replaceable livestock. And of course, stateless apps were all the rage then, and this analogy gave us a good way to think about systems and infrastructure but this largely left out thinking about the related data that apps rely upon. And so, let's refresh this a bit. In 2013, particularly as containers support more stateful mission-critical apps than ever, I'd actually you to think about adding in Starfish. And, and now you're like, where is this guy going with this Starfish? What is he talking about? Well, Fun fact about starfish that you may know, even if you're not a marine biologist, is that unlike dogs or cows, if a starfish loses a limb, it can grow it back from its central body. In other words, they're more resilient to harm in a way that many other creatures are not. And data and data infrastructure needs to be thought of the same way. Can we make it more resilient to keep apps up and running even when some of it disappears? whether that's through malicious encryption, or maybe just fat fingers, or a configuration mistake. DevOps changed the way we think about apps and infrastructure, bringing together developers and operations teams and their processes and tools, uh, primarily in support of velocity of innovation, right? Stay ahead of the competition through continuing iteration and learning and being agile. I would posit that we need to do the same thing uh, for data and its life cycle, bringing together people, 
culture, processes, and tools to ensure, in this case, resilience. We can do better than 22% of the time software failure being responsible for data loss. We can do better about knowing how to bring back data to power applications when it's attacked by things like ransomware. And we can make the operational aspects of our applications more resilient. So, if you're wondering how to stay out of the negative headlines these days, I think it's through planning for a combination of velocity and, of course, security, right, but also resilience for your Kubernetes apps. And if you'd like to understand how Veritas can help you with getting this right, please come visit us after today's keynotes down on the show floor. And with that, thank you and enjoy the rest of the show.